Hello and welcome back to Peregrine. I am Junior and we're going to pick up from directly where we left off, which is the start of chapter 3. And hopefully I actually remember the controls. I think the only button I have to remember is space. She follows the tunnels of the derelict complex downwards. Every step takes her nearer to the heart of the calamity. Vast weapons point to the skies. Abby imagines a defense which had only stoked the gods' wrath further. She envies the gods. They have someone to punish, somewhere to direct their rage. Isaac left two years ago, but the rage burned inside her as much as ever. Right, so I'm actually very curious on to how this whole system is going to not how the whole system, how the, the whole game is going to end. Am I going to somehow meet up with Isaac again? Above the door is an inscription. It reads, Let us cast the sorrow of loss from this world forever. Oblion grants the wish lying deep inside us. Uriah Joyce, discoverer of Oblion. Right, so... Uh, I guess a quick recap. The uh, Oblion is the thing that gave the humans uh, longevity, I believe, and power. And I don't know. I could have rewatched the the opening thing for the chapter, but I wanted to get back into the game. It has been a while since I played Ezra. Do not allow grief to sap your strength, Abby. You must resist the gods' cruel toe. Right, Ezra is my father. I, I don't know how. Parts of me are falling away. There is always a seed, Abby. A memory that holds what is most precious. Do you remember the old tree? No! Are you going to remind me about the old tree? Yes. I passed it earlier. I can still picture it. On clear days, we could see it on the horizon, across the water. You were fascinated by what was on the other side. We spent hours just looking at that faraway tree. I remember. That is my kernel, Abby. The memory in which I can always find myself. Find what is precious inside. Guard it. Only that will save you from oblivion. Abby repacks her comms unit and resumes her progress. I don't know if I've mentioned it, but I really do like the voice of the narrator. <laughs> uh, actually, I like all the voices, but the narrator is my favorite. So, one, I assume I have to do this in order. This is probably number two over here. And then this would be three. Just trying to, kind of trying to follow the wires. If that was, if that was a puzzle, I did it first. <laughs> Pure luck number one. <laughs> um. I'm thinking that that it was literally. A puzzle that I just solved by what? Faint indicator lights illuminate a dusty control console. The display blinks with the words "refuel required." Fantastic! I think that was literally a puzzle that I solved in the one shot. The steel door is marked "fuel pump control." A sensor reads, locked, senior personnel only. Right, so I gotta somehow make the system think I'm senior control. That's a big guy. Something tells me I need 
probably would take him first. Yeah, because he's kind of fading. My undying rage torments the Guardian's minds. Possessing them scares Abby. She identifies something of herself in their vengeful fury. I get it. I don't I don't quite know what what the uh, the fury that the guardians feel, but I absolutely know what Abby's colonel would be. The the memory of Isaac leaving. All right. So um is this a panel for me to use? No. I've gotta do something with this guy. Like hit that thing, apparently. Try hitting it from this side. There we go. Not within view. <laughs> But it's right there. Abby's comms meter detects a weak signal trace ahead. She tries, but fails to connect. Confused, she turns her attention to the crucible chamber ahead. I'm gonna say it's Isaac. Isaac, who is, um, trying to get us, or trying to hail someone. Something like that. Over here? No? Can you slam into that? What what can you do? Oh wait, I get it. I know what I gotta do. So I gotta control him to find the way that turns all my, or not all my, but all of these crucibles, shit, so that I can actually kind of just, shit, navigate them in a way to make this path around. And I don't 100% have the idea of which each panel, how it, how it turns them. It's mostly a guessing game for me right now. Okay. If it looks like I know what I'm doing, it's cert it's that would be a lie. so close. And this one. Alright. Don't tell me I need you for something. Because that would just be shit. Okay. So what is right here? The bumbling critter has made a refuge of this quiet corner. Within its junk fashion den, Abby spots a key card of some sort. Would it happen to be a senior officer? The faded lettering identifies the former owner as Uriah Joyce. Underneath are the words, 
Access all areas. Yes. Nice. So I... So I've got the highest ranking keycard. Oh, I'm so happy about that. So now I can go ahead and refuel the... The, uh... Train car? Thing? I'm not quite sure myself, uh, what it is. It looks like some sort of a locomotive. Fuel-powered, of course. Not, not coal. <laughs> Abby inserts the keycard into the receiver. The sensor flashes green as the steel door slides open. Fantastic, so what's inside? This is not going to end well. Okay, it ended less horribly than I thought it would. So I need you to move this way over there. And then this... No, from the right angle. This over here. Cause that'll keep that held open. Or it'll just destroy the system. <laughs> Abby activates the refueling switch. A low, guttural hum emanates from deep within the facility as the pump motor initiates. Steady vibrations drum upwards through the facility's steel structure. After a few moments, the display reads, service train refuel complete. So it is a train of sorts. All right, so what do you want me to investigate? One of the displays emits a low light. The words deep sleep mode blink across the screen. Abby touches her hand to the visualizer. Repository contains two voice logs. Uriah Joyce and Obatech Director. That should have been the most cherished day in our species history. I'm not gonna lie, I thought Uriah would be a girl. Uriah. The discovery of the last missing element, Oblion. Many lifetimes had been spent searching for it, but none of our theories could have predicted its power. The universe saved the best until last. Fair enough. Next log. The Oblion promised us what we so desperately wanted. We could finally cast off our mortality. Our lives would span centuries and millennia. We could attain the wisdom and experience of gods. The temptation was too great. None resisted it. Now the Oblion has brought us here. Punishment. I fear this war will be our species' final act. Abby's hands tremble. Each fragment of the disaster brings a terrifying vision closer. Most of the other data is corrupted and relates to something called the Lazarus Project. Abby had noticed the same words earlier in the facility. Where? Are they trying to bring people past back from the dead past the dead <laughs> okay I mean I understand the immortality but a Lazarus project Console doesn't sound good now reads refuel successful awaiting departure let's get going Don't tell me I've completed the chapter already. The engine's steady hum blankets the vast cavern. A scanner again picks up a phantom trace. Puzzled, Abby dials the enclave receiver instead. My scanner has a fault. It's 
picking up a faint signal ahead. Short range. It's... it's not a malfunction, Abby. I bet it's Isaac. She knew her father's voice. She knew instantly something was wrong. The units have a black box mode. Those aren't live signals, they're recordings. If a carrier doesn't survive, the units transmit their internal logs on a short range frequency. A carrier? They could be his from his final days. Isaac. You'll know once you're near enough to decode the contents. I only wanted to protect you, Abby. You hit this. <laughs> the worst of things have been done through the want to protect another. Isaac is gone. Hearing his voice for a few seconds more won't change that. Your grief would have drawn you into the divide sooner, my child. You weren't ready. Abby suspends the transmission. Again, she feels the unsubsiding pain of having something precious forever taken. She thinks of the foolish souls who built this strange place. Wanting to live as gods, free from the pain of grief, they risk disaster. She wonders if she would make the same choice. That's quite the prospect, trying to live forever. The train's gears grind to a halt. Abby looks around at the ruin of an oblivion mine. Okay. Oh, TNT. Hmm. Let's go ahead and hit the TNT over into that thing. While we're at it, we'll hit that into this, and hopefully that will break open the... Not without an explosive. That could have been my explosive. It would have worked. Is there something... Is there something... Something up here I could use? Nope. Go around the fence, ding, dingus. Oh, now that's a good range on the on that. The crater label stone tunnel blasting kit. Abby searches the area to see if she can scavenge something useful. TNT. I bet it's TNT. Why does that wire go over here? Yes, and then it'll drop. There's the TNT. See what I gotta do with him. Have him learn the route. Oh, really? get on there from here yes yes he can so this was probably just a ruse
What the actual fuck? Ah, no, don't do that. Clicked out of the game. Oh, you know what? It's a cart on a track, and this track can lead into there. Nope, I just made him hit his head for no reason. Stumped. I don't know what to do. I think that was a spot where I could actually hit him. With my... I've completely forgotten what the power is even called. No, but if I can get him right here, I should be good. again. Hmm. Right there. I just have to be with an eye shot. Uninterrupted view. There we go. No, you can't get that? Seriously? I got an idea. What if I take that from the grub troll? Wait a second. Wait, can I put it there? Here he comes. Ah, more weight brings it up higher. I see now. That's something I should have figured. Oh well. Oh, this is probably for me to investigate then. Okay. Is this a me investigate? Nope. Not quite sure what that was supposed to be. But now that I have explosives, I can go ahead and line you up correctly. And then ram that into the boards there. And with that, we get to see what's in the Noblian mine. The Guardians seem to be drawn to these mining tunnels. Abby wonders if, deep within their tormented minds, 
They understand the Oblion's unique power. Probably, but they're designed very specifically. That and there's a turret up there. Okay, I gotta enter it right here. shot or I don't I get slapped so is this out of range perhaps Fast enough. Oh, the thing got shot by the Okay, so there was actually a way where I could cause the thing to get shot by the turret. Must have been a secret achievement, because I, I kind of read through them and didn't know. I didn't see that one. Hmm. Well, I didn't want to do it this way. So I can make these two hit each other. One of them, and the other one. And then I have one of these hit the other, and then I hit the last. Just like that. The Guardian's dying shriek echoes into the darkness. From within her satchel, Abby's comms unit spits out an intermittent beep. The black box recordings are only fragments. The illusion of his presence will only wound you more. I can't explain it. Even an echo, a reflection, is something. The tomb lands of the divide are no place for one distracted by grief. Stay focused, Abby. I need to keep moving. Abby suspends the comms channel and continues through the mining tunnel. She no longer knows what spurs her forward. The promise of the prophecy, or the prospect of Isaac's black box logs. I still don't think Isaac is actually dead. Like, maybe he's just lost his mind and the black box is okay. Has realized this and is just kind of thinking he's dead. The rock's hallowed form reminds Abby of a burial site. Again, the object's surface is scarred with a rough script. Bloodlust surged as the vengeful god twins pursued their ruthless justice. The skies darkened with a devastating bombardment, spreading ruin through all the humans had built. The vicious guardians of the Oblion were unleashed to rip apart the flesh of the humans. Worst of all, the gods decided to take from the humans that which they cherished most. They took away the humans' ability to learn and understand themselves and their world. The memories of all they had known would slowly be lost. Soon, the annihilation was complete. All right, well, um... I guess that's one way to destroy an entire species. I'm wondering if these 
new people are actually human. Because they're obviously post-human. She, she, at least, is referring to all the old people as the humans and not other people. I don't know. I'm just trying to make up my own sort of theory. But, um... Yes, what I was going on earlier before I went into that cutscene is I think Isaac is probably still alive and has lost his mind completely, has abandoned his radio, which now thinks he's dead. So it went into the black box feature. Or the black box transmission. Something like that. I'm not 100% sure myself. But, um... Yeah. I still really want to know what's actually waiting for me at the end of the game. But we'll get there in due time. For now, I want to thank you for giving me your time of day so I can throw it out that window over there. And if you like this video for some reason, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new here, why not subscribe? What's the worst that could happen? Anyways, thank you, and I hope all of you have a wonderful day. Hey guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see me take out a ghost from the past in Sunder, look over to the left. And if you want to see the video YouTube thinks you would like, click over to the right. You know, I've still got to, uh, I gotta search around to see if I can find the soundtrack for this game. Maybe it's in my local files, and I just didn't try and look for it yet.